friends. Today we're going to check off another item on my Minecraft bucket list. We're gonna tame an ocelot. If you're new here, hi, I'm Dee. I started playing Minecraft in 1.19 and now I'm going back in time to play through all the release versions of Minecraft. Let's see what y'all are so nostalgic about and how the game has changed over the last 15 years. Step one. Oh, wait, I'm gonna need string for this. Ooh, there's snow here. Wow, I haven't seen the old Minecraft snow yet. That's pretty cool. Is there ice? Do we get ice? <gasps> Doggums! Oh, they're so cute. But we do get ice. Ooh. That is... That is a texture. All right. Anyways, we need to go find ourselves some trees. Here's a tree. So start another world here and I thought that this was going to be easy peasy you know I'm gonna jump in a river I'm gonna kill a fish and then I'm gonna go to the jungle except I, I can't I can't jump in the river and kill a fish I have to go fishing which means I have to get string I'm gonna make myself a sword and then we're going to just like pick everything up and continue traveling across the country Cow tipper? That's not an achievement we have anymore. Wait, there's a jungle right there. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, Minecraft pigs are one of my favorite mobs in the game. Like, they're so cute and I hate killing them. So I'd rather kill the cows. Let's go ahead and just murderage these sheep. Usually, ooh, there's some coal. Let me grab that too. So usually when I start a new Minecraft world, I do my best to not kill the passive mobs because, you know, there's the whole thing about, like, the passive mob cap and all of that. But then also, I just don't like killing things. Like, I don't like, I don't like murderaging them if I don't have to. But in this series, we can make exceptions because, like, we're, we're not going to be staying in this world for very long anyways. All right, that's two pieces of wool. Three pieces of wool, excellent. Now we can make a bed. So one of the things that changed in this version of the game, let's come over here, is that we now have different types of wood planks. So obviously we've got our jungle wood and our oak wood, but now when you turn the jungle wood into planks, it should be jungle planks, but apparently it's not. And the sun is starting to go down. Let's cross this river. Maybe get up to the top of this hill before it goes down, if we're lucky. Kind of see the terrain around us. There's not much. Oh, there's more cold. There were a few other changes in this update, which only came a few months after the initial game release still. I think this was like March of 2012 and the uh, original like full game. Oh, look at the grass color. The original full game release, I believe, was November of 2011. So literally like four months later, this was where the game was. Um, and we have a couple of things like iron golems were added to villages. I guess that would have been the beginning of iron farming, which is pretty cool. I don't spot an ocelot in here, but that's okay. There's plenty of jungle. I wanted to head over this direction though because there were more like plains and stuff. And so if we can find a village, that would be pretty cool. I believe they did also add cats in this version as well as ocelots. And when you tame an ocelot, I think it actually turns into a cat, which is a little sad because then you can't have like ocelot directly as a pet but you know okay this is all ocean this way i'm gonna make myself some leather armor and we're not even gonna worry about iron stuff obviously in this update we got a new biome the jungle biome and we dig down here a little ways yeah there it is so we had our sandstone in the original release version of the game, but we're supposed to be able to make cut sandstone this way. Ah, uh, okay. So the new blocks 
the the sandstone blocks and the uh, what do you call them different plank variations weren't actually added until 1.2.4 so we don't quite have those in this particular version of the game yet now that I've walked over this direction I'm gonna go back to where there were a bunch of cows so that we can get a little more leather and make ourselves some armor and we're just gonna go spider hunting because oh man I feel like looking for mine shafts would take forever now, if my memory is correct on the crafting recipes, which it usually isn't, we only need two pieces of string in order to make a fishing rod. It sucks that Minecraft pigs are so cute, and I don't want to kill them because they're so abundant. Let's, let's let it get dark now that we've got... I'm gonna put this... and make myself another sword. And... We're gonna sleep in the bed. Oh, we can't get out. Okay, well. Guess we're just sleeping through the night. <laughs> no, I broke the bed. The whole point was so that I'd have a spawn point. At this point in the game, could you actually obtain the ice? Could you still touch it? Like, I imagine you could. Well, you just get snow and ice forever and ever here. I could go down into a cave. That is an option available to me. There's a cave here. Alright, let's at least peek our head in. It doesn't go anywhere. Of course it doesn't. Take the iron. Might as well. Interesting, they have the little brown bits on their skulls. I don't think they have that anymore. Alright, well I don't even hear a spider, so like, it's worthless to actually go into the cave. I'm gonna go ahead and set up camp in the cave so that I have a slightly more defensible place. All right, well, uh, time to go kill things. I do not have a ton of armor, so I'm a little nervous about this. There's a spider way over there. All right, let's go. Preferably not falling into caves on the way. All right, here's a couple. Well, a bunch of skellies, sheesh. Sheesh, jeez. Good gravy, okay, okay, okay. Nope, I'm about to die. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Bless, I think that's actually all I need. And we sleep. Oh, okay. <laughs> and maybe we grab a couple more of the spiders that had spawned as well. Okay. While we wait for things to burn a little bit, let's see if this is enough to make a fishing rod with because I believe this is, there we go. Okay, perfect. We don't even need more. You know, maybe we'll, Maybe we could use another. Ow! There you are, sheesh. Rude. All right, that's a couple more pieces, excellent. Uh, you know, just in case we need more fish, but like, I don't think you can get anything other than fish from fishing, so I think we'll be fine. There we go. So now we go and try this whole fishing thing. Let's see how early Minecraft fishing was. Honestly, I really love fishing in current game Minecraft. So, I don't, I, I assume early game fishing would have been similar. Very similar like animation anyways with the bobber and everything like that doesn't really look like it's changed very much. Let's see if we get the cute little bubbles because those are my favorite. Do we just, no, no, that's not it. Okay. So we just have to sit and wait for like a long time. Oh, there we go. Okay. And this is the point where you turn on the Minecraft music, right?
I need to know something before we continue our fishing. Can you? Oh, it hurts them. Interesting. And then zoom, zoom. I mean, that makes sense. I don't know if any of you all have had a fish hook in your uh, body in any way. Like your finger, for example. But it's not pleasant. I have not personally had one, but I know people who have had fish hooks in their fingers and such. All right, before we return to the fishing, because I have a dozen, but I want to make sure we have plenty, because sometimes some of these critters can be a little difficult to tame. But I need to know about this snow. Does it produce snowballs? This is important for science. It does! Oh, that's fun. And I believe these ones might actually cause, like, actual damage. Yeah, I don't think those cause actual damage. The rumors were false. You could not kill an ender dragon with one of those. All right. Science TM has been conducted back. Fishing. Ooh, also, since they're right here, I need to know, can you actually get ink sacks, or is it just, are they purely decorative? You can't get ink sacks. Very cool. I'm pretty sure when you're fishing in the current game. Oh, there goes our fishing rod. I'm pretty sure when you're fishing in the current game, the bobber bobs up and down a little bit. It's very stationary in this one. I think we have plenty of fish though. Sheesh. But I figured since I was going to sit and fish and listen to Minecraft music, I might as well do it until the fishing rod broke. One of the things that I didn't really take note of yet is that the GUI at the bottom of the screen that's the same. I don't think there's anything about that that's different. I know like in the first video I talked about how the mob textures hadn't really changed and they have. They've gotten a little less pixely feeling. Um, they haven't changed as dramatically as for example the sand texture or the leaf textures. Um, but they have changed to an extent. But I'm pretty sure that that GUI, the XP bar, the hearts, all of that at the bottom of the screen. I don't think that has changed at all. Step two. I'm going to have a pet ocelot. All right, it's time. Let's pick up everything and head out from our little temporary cave base. And we're going to go find this ocelot. All right, there were doggos back in these woods. We should try and get a doggo friend. Hello, doggo. Oh, sad. It's all right. That was a long shot anyways. Now, I know melons existed all the way from at least 1.0. Do they now grow in jungles? I don't think we have, like, cocoa pods yet. Cocoa beans. All right, and if we don't find an ocelot in this jungle, I will cry. So just, just a heads up to everybody. My brain wants to find an ocelot so bad it's turning the little sandy patches of... <gasps> There's one. All right, we gotta be careful and gentle and nice. Kitty, 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 kitty. Where did, where did, where did... <gasps> Hello? Hello, kittens. They're so pretty. I love them so much. Look at those little shoulders. <gasps> <laughs> oh, 
That was terrible timing, Brandy. Oh, but you are so pretty. Can we find the other kitty too? Oh. I wish their skins didn't change. Come on, come on, come on. Why? Why aren't you taking my fishes? Why won't it take the fishes? I'm right clicking so hard. What's happening here? Come on. I can't. It is. Oh, there we go. Oh, you're a cute little tuxedo kitty. Oh, so adorable. Oh. And now I have not one, but two precious kittens. And then can we breed them? Can we breed them? Oh, they purr. They purr. Oh, they're cute. Oh my goodness, I have a family of cats. I love them very much. Interestingly, they don't have collars. That's, that is interesting. That's different. Other than that, they look the same. I love this. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> Minecraft cats are just the best. Well. You don't have Minecraft cats. That's not the bed. You don't have Minecraft cats until they sleep on your tummy while you sleep. Listen to these little tiny voices. Let's see if they'll come sleep on my tummy. I don't know if cats did this yet. I do wish you could keep the ocelot texture though. So like that is kind of the nice thing about not quote unquote taming ocelots anymore. I don't know. For some reason I thought that when I when this was first described to me, I thought that, you know, the ocelots were then tame ocelots. And that's not the case, which is sad. That's very sad. But they all say All right, someone can come sleep on my tum tum? Apparently not. That's okay. That's okay, you're still all best kitties. They don't seem to be going for the bed at all, actually. Oh my god, they're so cute. <laughs> it's official, guys. This was the best update. We got all these. So cute and adorable, and I love them. <laughs> Look at the whole family of ocelots. There's five of them, and three of them are kittens. Five, six? Because I think there was another one back there, too. Oh my goodness. Yep, that's official. Best update. Best update, yep. Well, this was another short but sweet episode. I love that each episode we are like doing different things and learning different mechanics of the game or trying different things like fishing. Also, I never commented on the fish texture, but I really like the color of it. Like, obviously we've got a couple of kinds of fish now instead of just generic fish. I don't know. I, I do like this texture as well. It's got its own charm to it. Very fish looking, you know? What, do you guys want something? Get over the baby boss. Also, something I've noticed is that you see- Yeah, you can't give small baby mobs the foods and grow them up faster. I wonder when that happens. Anyways, I'm sure we'll find out at some point as we continue playing through all the Minecraft version updates. So, if you missed the first couple of episodes of this series, the playlist will be linked up on your screen. And be sure to like the video and subscribe if you want to keep up on this series as it grows. I'm enjoying this thoroughly so far. It's really cool to like be watching how Minecraft has developed into the game that I know and love. Anyways, I'm excited for the experiences to come and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!